Hello Aquarius and welcome to your mid-December to January read this current year. <laughs> Aquarius and Cross Watchers, this is for the sign of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please check your charts. I just fucked that up. That's awesome. If this resonates with you a good deal. If not, don't worry about it. You just boop your nose and away it goes. There's no reason to worry about shit that don't resonate, don't sound like you, don't sound like the story you're going through. None of that shit. I am a bus driver on the road. You either get on the bus or you don't. So, I also like using naughty words, so you probably don't like that. Newcomers, first reading's on the house. I'll, everything else is in the description box below. So, let's begin. Aquarius, we have... Nine of Wands, your garden against something keeping that duty out. When it comes to a situation dealing with some past trauma, possibly from childhood, you never know. The Wands and Wishes is the High Priestess to reveal some sort of truth you hold. But the obstacle and challenge is all the conflict that might come from where everyone's trying to reach the same goal, which is probably the secrets that the High Priestess knows about. So you might be the little secret keeper, and everyone's fighting over something you know, and you're just sitting here like, should I even get involved in this? You know, because I feel like I've done this shit before and I really don't want to. Just one of those things, right? Alright, let's see. Two of Wands as the shit that started, the shit that's ended, how it'll come full circle. The Three of Wands reverse represents the fears and rejections, having to end something. And your beginning theme is Temperance. Sagittarius is caught. Patience. Let's see. I'm gonna go get me some soda. That's what I'm gonna do. That is my goal for a specific thing. Okay, let's see. Nine of Wands. Keeping on guard, Aquarius. Keeping your duty full guard up until a long, slow moving offer approaches you. It might be that moolah, it might be a man. Um, and you went through some shit while you're sitting there waiting, like, where the fuck is he? It's still nighttime this way. Yeah. And it feels like nothing's changing about this. Either. Now, when it comes to this situation, Aquarius and Cross Watchers alike, there is a traumatic event. Possibly with the water sign who was really selfish and turned her back on you, possibly. Made you feel like you were a fool, or they made themselves feel like a fool by doing this. Because um, it didn't work the way it used to. Uh, they didn't learn shit from their dad at all. They just sat there and stared at it and just thought, like, you know, marshmallows and hot dogs could almost be spelt the same. No, they can't. You're fucking six. You should have paid attention to that. You know, what are those things, right? Where it's like. Hmm. Someone should have been paying attention to what the fuck. Someone definitely feels like a fool after getting in their feelings and turning their back away. But it's definitely dealing with a trial of troubles. It could be with a water sign, it could be Pisces, also Cancer or Scorpio, of course. But someone here just feels dumb because something didn't work the way it used to. Alright, Aquarius and Cross Watchers, wants and wishes. The High Priestess. Holding some secrets back and wanting to say something, but just this is just thrown out the fucking window. There's no rhyme. There's no reason to anything. At all. Nothing at all. There, there's nothing linked to any sort of... Like, there's no motive. If they murdered, like, 12 people, there's no reason. It just happened. They just thought about it slightly. They disassociated or dissociated and just did it. You know, it just... It was there. You know. Took a leave, and, and, like... They, they use no thought process whatsoever in this leap of faith in the dark and now it's like ah, I might be addicted I'm I might have gone a little bit too far with this Aquarius and cross watchers this could be you but this could also be someone the you're dealing with and I feel like this is more like somebody else but it could be you you never know whoever this queer is just throwing that out there um I don't know. They've been confusing as of late. Like, I always feel like I'm not reading them right, and then, like, I put them up, and you guys just tell me, oh, this is right on the fucking money. And it's like, what? Okay, whatever, man. Cool beans. I love you all. Mwah. Anyway. 
Mm, but I feel like this is someone you might be dealing with. Like, they weren't thinking anything. It's like impulsivity a little bit. Could be a Pisces you're dealing with who's in this scenario. But it's like they didn't think of something or whatever. Five of ones. That's the obstacle and challenge. Everyone just beating each other over this single fucking goal. Everyone's fighting for the same damn thing. Not realizing it's the same thing. You know? That money, I want to be secure. Or some shit, right? Let's see. Um, in their own little world. With a fish, a creepy fish thing back there. What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? What is that? Look at this. What is that? Is that supposed to be like a gargoyle? Because, like, I kind of wish they would have put more definition in there or whatever. But what the fuck? I just now noticed that. That's hilarious. How long have I had these cards? A while? And I don't, I just now noticed this. Ooh, with a Pisces. Or a cancer for sure. Ooh, Aquarius. You definitely have somebody who is watery on your mind. But this might be a mistress. I just got through talking to Capricorn about like their hoes and shit too. Um, basically that their hoes ain't nothing uh, compared to their bros for the most part. But everyone's fighting for financial security or just to be secure in some manner. Yeah, in some valuable way to secure their world and then we got like this bitch over here with her tits out looking all like hello um i could come out of this water if you ask me to nicely you know it's just kind of like mm. like you just want to lead her by a leash i guess but it's like why is this mistress here who thinks that she is their entire world you know, like, that that's kind of an obstacle, like, are you idolizing somebody a little bit too much? Because that's the problem up here, Aquarius. You know, you might be liking somebody too much, and then, like, you're, de you're, you're whole like, I need to detach from this because I'm catching feelings mechanism comes on, and then you just start panicking, and then it's like, I need to stop feeling this way for somebody. And then you just do the whole, like, I, I don't like you anymore, and then, like, you regret it later. I'm an Aquarius man, hi. Anyway, um... Fears or rejections, having to end something that's like, every time you bring it back to life, it's a fucking zombie. It's not fulfilling. It didn't bring the souls back, just the bodies. Now you got zombies running everywhere. Let's see. I got a book right here. Hold on. Feeling a bit trapped by that cycle of resurrection, too. Um... You do want to stick around because you know there's a lot of trash in the fucking ocean like fish. But I feel like you're still gambling on this, you know. And you are looking back trying your best to see if you're doing the right thing. However, this burden's about to come to an end. And it seems like there might be a separation because there's no commitment anymore. But that's a fear. I mean, it's definitely a connection with somebody who definitely could be a water sign. But I feel like you carry this burden with pride. Like, yeah, I've been doing the same shit, running in a circle with logs on my back over and over again, and nobody does it as good as me. You know, kind of like that, and it's like... There's pride in this, and it's a fear of the separation shit, and it's like, oh, okay, well, whatever. You, Aquarius, or Crosswatcher, or the person you're dealing with, that's how they're feeling with their fears. Let's see. This two of wands right here, how this shit starts, how it ends, full cycle to the circle. Someone needing to come to the decision, are you gonna fucking walk? With your feelings? Go somewhere else with them? Or will you face judgment? Because going that may white be a wrong direction. And whatever comes is what you have created for yourself in the name of fate. Uh, 
so it's like don't uh, yeah don't don't uh, like I told Capricorn this don't go anywhere yet just patience is the key here wait so your message is similar to Capricorn's you want to launch Capricorn's go right ahead um, because they kind of have a, a much more deeper situation that I read for that I've never gotten for them yeah when it comes to this love situation just fucking wait dude just wait hold up a minute right but when I came to Capricorns it was like they were in the midst of an affair right and it's like they were tempted to go to the new person but that's not a good idea and I'm, I can't remember or I'm not sure why it's not a good idea but I feel like it, it, it would not be a good idea at this point um you know, nothing against people who do that kind of shit I, I like I have nothing to say like I, I've done bad shit too I'm not going to hold anything against anybody. I'm not that kind of bitch, right? But it was just the whole sensation of, uh, don't go to this person just yet. There's something up here, something wrong, right? Now, I'm kind of getting that vibe from you. No, well, I'm getting more of the vibe from this person, really. But, like, this end part, definitely you. It's like, you have a choice. Um, you can ride that way and suffer. Then be your own fault. I don't know what the other choice is, though. But, um, mm. it's like the wrong judgment call spins your reels the wrong way. And it feels like a punishment almost. I said punishment to some other song, but I can't remember who that is. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Anyway, let us clarify what up, y'all. What up? Let's see. This energy, oh, I need a nap. Doors open and people are packing their shit and leaving. Are you getting on the bus or are you not? You know, like this door's wide open. Things are traveling, things are going elsewhere. They might want to communicate that, Aquarius and Crosswatcher. There's no, this door is open, but only for a limited time. You know, like they, they come out with that shit. Like, and wait, there's more just here from our sponsors. Like, mm, you know, nope, nope, don't you fucking do it. <laughs> don't you do, no, 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 don't do it, don't do it. Like, this person looks nice. They look tempting. They, like, feed your vices. They really turn you on. They get your mind going. And no, no, I don't care how interesting and weird they fucking are. No, I don't like this. Like, why is the old person paying taxes to the young person like that? That's what the ex says. Like, look at that dude. He's just standing in the street taking people's money. Like, hey, 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 you need to pay the fuck up, bitch. You know, like, that's ridiculous. Don't stand in the streets. There are buildings for that shit. Call the cops if you need to. Why are you just going up to people asking them for their change when you're dressed nicely and they're the fucking hobos? What hobo do you know has change and will let you know? <laughs> or give it to Well, they might give it to you if you say that you're out of money and you need some food. Like, they know what it's like not to have shit. Uh, but that's really taking advantage of somebody who really knows what it's like not to have shit when you got shit, you know? I kind of don't like that with this person. It's like they know that about you, that you'll give the shirt off your back. They might even take advantage of your kindness a little bit. Which, once you realize that, Aquarius, you will be completely miffed and want to beat their ass. Rightfully so, of course. Alright, the situation, right? We have Queen of Wands. She's getting told some shit. Could be Fire Sign, Leo Sagittarius. But that might not be the truth. Or that someone's hiding something from her, right? And that's going to drop some swords on her already healed heart. Ew. Harsh. Wants and wishes, right? Queen of Swords, that could be you. You're trying to be gentle with your nature when it comes to this shit. Meet somebody eye to eye on things. See if you can create a partnership between them to make decisions and whatnot. Wasn't that, that's down here too? But it's like only one person's looking. So. Person's got ideas. Yeah, let that shit go. Let it go. Have a discussion with them and be like, look, um, no, let's just let's just not. You know, you might be you could be hearing something about like how this all goes down. Or someone else could be hearing about it. One of the two. You might have to have a discussion with this person, Aquarius. Down below in the obstacle and challenge, you know, like someone's tugging on your happiness and trying to pull your pole off the stick. And it's like, will you get the fuck off of me? You know? 
That kind of thing, right? But it's like you can't run back home either. Like this person doesn't make you happy, they actually ruin your happiness, and it's like you can't go back home. And it and that's not justified. It's not justice at all. Libra and Leo just popped up right there. Sagittarius is up top, but we already got Sagittarius as the beginning theme of this energy regardless. So it's like, yeah, definitely wait on some shit, man. Wait. 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 Fears and rejection. Nine of Pentacles. Uh, being single but loving it. Being able to manifest something. Whatever that is. Not listening to shit that anybody tells you, apparently. Like, shit. Like, you're just shoving the book in your face and you're just like, you know what? I don't care. I don't know. It's almost like acting like you're single is just going to, to like, draw something to you. But this requires you to deal with, like, that whole rebellious shit. You might be a little bit hard-headed about something. Possibly commitment in general, um, I will say. Like, there's something about you is just like, well, where's my freedom? Like, what rules do I get to make up? Why do we need rules to begin with? This seems kind of tedious. Why can't we just be happy and free with each other? We're like, why do I gotta follow a book in the first place? You know, I don't need instruction manuals to know how to love somebody, but, you know, like, Aquarius. This is a fear of rejections, too. Um, I feel like if it's about your independence, you aren't hearing dick. It's like you don't want to be confined if you, like, if, yeah, because you guys for a while had somebody who wouldn't just leave you the fuck alone. And it's like you don't want that fucking confinement anymore. And it's just like, I, I'm cool single on my own. I, I'll, I'll deal with this no matter what. Like, I'm just tired of being, duh, 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 duh. like, you know, it's just like it's too much. You'd rather be independent and single and be happy being by yourself than having to um, submit, I feel like. How this shit starts, how it ends, how it comes full circle, last row, yes. Happiness, everyone's just chilling, everyone's just having a good old time. And then, baba, love appears. In the midst of this. But, it's not complete by the time the cycle comes up. Let me drop one more. Why isn't it complete? What's up? Like, there's gonna be, like, there's, like, there's gonna be a new love regardless for you, Aquarius. You just gotta wait. That's all. You just gotta be patient and wait. But it's coming. He's coming. He's coming. Why is this, um, not complete love, though? Like, what's incomplete about this scenario? What's fucked up about it? Why do we turn someone into a frog leg? A delicious one. Deep fry at that. Oh, because we didn't take the feeling, because we it took the feelings in stride. Queen of Cups. There's feels here, but she's more distracted by the fucking fish. She's just like, why did someone put a fish in here? I've been staring at this for, like, how many centuries? Like, oh my god. <laughs> That's silly. Silly me. You know, taking those emotions in stride. You know? Not really um, focusing on them enough to give a shit about them. This is probably just somebody who goes with the flow. But they do have love to give. You just gotta distract them from their fucking fish and whatever it is that goes on in their damn head. Like, throw the fish in the air and be like, why are, why are we talking about flying fish? Yeah, distract them a little bit from what goes on in their head. Maybe from yourselves as well. But that's what I go to this person. So, Aquarius, that's what I got for you. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, you may like, share, and subscribe. You don't have to if you don't want to, but I greatly appreciate it. Anyway, I will see you guys later. I love your faces. Be good. Bye-bye.